Kia ora everyone um, who's part of the TEU Youth Hui uh, in Auckland. Thanks very much for sending through uh, what you probably were, thought were really quick questions, but um, really are like the equivalent of asking me about the meaning of life. So <laughs> I'm going to have a go at us answering these. Um, you've asked me two, and the first, first one I want to go to is what advice would you give to young activists um, today? Well, first of all, the very fact that you're involved and that you uh, are young activists, I think is a fantastic first start because one of the messages I try and give young people is that there's so many things that I get letters about and uh, questions about that I know our young people feel passionately about, but it's just then that next step of moving from having that feeling to actually putting it into action and getting involved. So the fact that you're there is the most important first step. And so the advice that I would um, give you is just stay involved. You know, it's really, I think, in voluntary organizations and all of you will have experienced this at some point. At some point, uh, you might not have uh, as tight an organization around you. At some point, something might be a little bit disorganized or fall by the wayside, or there might be a little gap where people aren't communicating as much as usual stay involved you know and be willing to step into the void when perhaps those ideas aren't forthcoming and things are a little bit harder slog just stick with it and i say that because i've been a member of um, a progressive political movement since i was 17 years old and there have been times where you know i've hung back and waited for things to happen and actually what was needed for, was for all of us to not just categorize ourselves as young people that needed to wait for other people to take the lead, but actually there was a role for us to play at the front. And so stay involved, fill the gaps. That's my, that's my first little piece of advice. So what advice, your second question, what advice would you give a young Jacinda? What have you learned on your journey from activist to prime minister? Now, firstly, I don't, think you ever stop being an activist. Uh, I think you can be in a position of leadership and still feel compelled by the same issues that brought you into activism in the first place and that drive and that fire I think is really important that you never lose it. So no matter what role you're in, union leader, member of parliament, prime minister, I think you still can have that same fire. Uh, the difference for me, I guess, is I have to wear the hat where I see the things that we're constantly having to juggle all at the same time. And so what advice would I give a young Jacinda? My advice to myself has really changed and got simpler and simpler over the years. I would say it will be okay. Uh, I think when, uh, particularly uh, when you're young, everything can feel so overwhelming. And sometimes things are overwhelming and I don't want to trivialize that. Um, but actually, uh, with the people that you have around you, uh, with the motivation that you have, problem solving skills, uh, the fact that we're all in the same boat together, it will be okay. Uh, and so just keep going, have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your movement and just keep going. Have a wonderful hui.